Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Noble Vlogs. Right now, James and I, we're going to keep on raking up here. We have about 200 acres left. Although, uh, 125 acres might not be able to go, but we are, we're just going to see if the hail go. Not quite sure if this rake's going to pick it up. Just for the simple fact that this is a pretty light rake and these are heavy windrows and it's been rained on and it might be pushed to the ground. So, not sure if this is going to do it. We know for a fact that these heavier rakes, they they get the job done of picking it up. But we're going to just get to it. Hopefully the hail will dry out um, and we'll get it put up. I hope you guys enjoy today's video and stay tuned. Definitely not a death burner. not really wanting to lift it up all that much and I'm going pretty slow just trying to pick it up I don't know if it's just how the windrows laying or what it is but it just it's not picking it up very well don't know what I'm gonna do Heading into the field now with the 4450 and Round Baylor James. He's on. He's ahead of me uh, with the 83 and Round Baylor, and he's gonna do. He's gonna start on the field that we already raked up. But once he gets close to the other field that we started raking, he's gonna go ahead and do some of the end rows around the pivot. And Dad's going to actually rake up some more on that field, and I'm gonna just keep on plugging away at eight. Uh, let the hay that dad's gonna rake sit for a little bit, see if it can get some of the toughness out, and then eventually we'll go over there and bail up what we can.
just a quick little update. James and I, we got done with the Westfield at the moment. Uh, now we're working on the Eastfield here. James is still doing some of the in rows around the pivot. Uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start working around uh, with the pivot tracks. We got an outer strip right here that I'll bail up once I'm done with the, this one, but just wanna give you guys a little bit of update, update on how well things are going and this stuff's yielding like crazy, it seems like. It would appear that I have run out of net wrap. So, time to change it. It's kinda odd. I don't think I've ever seen that. I wonder if it's just plug deck. Oh, nope. I'm out. These are just spacers. Since this net wrap roll is actually narrower than uh, our bales, so we use these spacers to try and center up the net wrap roll as close as possible so then one side of the bale won't be all opened up and hay sticking out like it's not wrapped while another side the net wrap's like dangling over the side of the bale. Come on. New roll, old roll. No trash left behind. Now all we gotta do, kick it on, wrap the bale, make sure it wraps, kick it out, we're on our way. Beautiful. Oh yeah, it's so good. But enough sniffing. Let's get back to bailing. Catch you guys more in the morning uh, when we are raking up the rest of this field and probably putting it up. Take the rake home, get the bear ready, wrap it up.
lot left. James Hill, pick up that windrow, uh, going this way. And then once I get to the other side of the pivot there, I'll pick up on the same windrow. It will be in the middle somewhere. That way, we just get done as much as possible. And then once we get close, someone will, uh, someone once they get a full bail, they'll just back up from the windrow and then move away from the windrow. That way, there's only one small bail. Last pass. There it is. Second like cutting is done. Just gotta kick this bail out and gonna head home. And there it is, folks. Second cutting for us is officially wrapped up. Bales are not quite piled yet, although Dad looks like he's gotten almost a quarter done. And so that's basically cut in half. That job's cut in half. Um, James, he did 500 bales. I did 368. So 868 total for 250 acres. That's pretty good. That's a very good yield of alfalfa. I could have had more, but it kind of seemed like the uh, range that I was in, shifting from first to second, the uh, speed seemed like a very big jump, and so I didn't really want to. I didn't really want to put a lot of crop into the baler all at once, so I just kind of left it in the lower range, and uh, I did a lot more of the uh, smaller windrows, and so I had a lot more turning around while James he had, did more of the long strips around the pivot tracks. But that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like always, comment down below what you guys liked about the video, what you wanna see. Like and subscribe, like always. Uh, it does not go unnoticed. Like I always, like I always say, it, it just doesn't go unnoticed for me. Um, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I also hope that you guys stay tuned for the next video to come. See ya!